this video will teach how to fix the Toshiba common firmware damage. Now I have connected one Toshiba hard drive to the SATA 0 of DFSRP. Now we click DDP. This is the data recovery module of the SRP. We can power on the hard drive. Okay, so when we power on hard drive, the drive can be detected and can be reading. Here we can find the common quick solutions to the common firmware problems. So for Toshiba hard drives, the most common failure is the genius failure or translator failure. So when we get one Toshiba hard drive, we can try to clear the list. Yes, clear success and translator operation. Mostly, after we clear the list, then the drive is fixed. We can scan the hard drive. See, the data error is accessed. Now, we can go to extract the data. We can use disk image or we can use file extraction. Because sometimes we use the virtual translator, the translator fix. But sometimes for virtual translator, we may use hard reset, software reset, or power reset. After reset the hard drive, the pension hard drive will become faulty again. So at this time, we need to use Auto Virtual Translator. So how to use Auto Virtual Translator for Toshiba hard drives? Okay, let's set up one new task first. Now, for Toshiba hard drive, we can find one function called Toshiba Virtual Translator Settings. We can run Toshiba Virtual Translator after hard reset. So for this kind of function, it is very helpful to fix Toshiba translator related problem. We can click OK. And start disk image. So for this time, the program will do automatic translator fix even the hard drive has reset options during the image the image will not stop so this auto virtual translator function is very helpful we can start image so it is imaging very fast the data will be available after the image so thank you for watching this video it's very easy to use dfldp to fix the translator issue or genius issue if the genius is bad or translator related problems if you scan the hard drive it will be full of bad sectors after you uh, fix the genius issue Fix the translator, then you can image it successfully. Okay. Thank you again for watching this video.